Cocoa in your community continues in Montrose. Now let's talk a little Houston history with Montrose. The Banner Project located at the Montrose Center is an LGBTQ timeline of the instrumental movements that were made right here in the city. It covers nine decades from the 1930s up until 2010. It showcases our community, entertainment, people, events, organizations, Tell me some of the, the days or the decades that stand out most to you, because I know a lot was important. That's the Gay Political Caucus. It founded in 1975, voting. They're all about the vote. Anita Bryant came to town in 1977. 4,000 people were at the Astro Arena. Many organizations evolved out of that, like what became the Montrose Center. What is this one, cross-dressing ordinance challenge? Phyllis Fry, you saw on the very last banner, uh -huh. she was helpful in getting the city ordinance overturned in 1980 so that transgenders and drag queens could dress as female in public and not be arrested. Also 2003, Lawrence v. Texas, that they overturned sodomy laws for the whole country, but that case started in Houston. If you still had sodomy laws, you wouldn't have same-sex marriage yet, because mm -hmm. that wouldn't have progressed. We definitely wanted to honor uh, 2009, uh, Anise Parker being elected mayor, and she appointed the first transgender judge in the country, Phyllis Fry, that same year. How do you feel that the area, the Montrose area, how far has it come from the beginning? It's come a long way, but now we're concerned about gentrification. Is it losing the feel for the community? I sure hope it keeps its originality. It's Coco Dominguez. I'm bringing you more Montrose all week long right here on Fox 26.